Travelled a bit. The sector one was an improvement. Two and three were slower. Maybe he got caught in traffic as you see the BMWs there battle down towards the Parabolica. 35 is the car that we were looking at earlier in the context that Timo got. Thomas Neubauer, Martin Tomczyk, the other drivers of 35. And uh, number 10 is the Boots and Gignon BMW, Karim Moger, Jens Liebhauser and Jens Klingmann. Karim Moger is the driver behind the wheel. And uh, that is another of the Pro-Am cars. Um, another really creative colour scheme that uh, draws attention to itself by the Boots and Gignon team. I like that one. Yes, and there's a, a, a long story around that very retro sort of uh, an homage to what was something that BMW did many years ago, many decades ago now, where they had a series of art cars, and this is a part of all that as an homage to what BMW did. And there's a, a, an artist, French art, Michel Valliant, I think his name, I don't maybe pronounce it correctly, and he, he was a cartoon, a cartoonist, and you can see that big boom down the side of the BMW. Well, that was a part of what he was all about. And Michel Valliant was a cartoon race driver, very popular in France in the day. Yes, it was about a decade plus ago, wasn't it, that a car ran at Le Mans uh, as part of a, a, a Michel Vaillant a film that was being made. Michel Neugarsen, I think, was one of the drivers of the car, and uh, it was uh, for a French movie. But yes, Michel Vaillant, the uh, fictitious uh, French racing driver, he was the sort of French version of Skid Solo. If you are of, of a certain age, you remember Skid Solo. And uh, down towards the Parabolica then comes uh, Michel Vaillant, masquerading as Carrie Moget, 22nd fastest in the BMW. Karun Karim, slip of the tongue there, Uge, and uh, again, just such an enthusiast, loves his motor racing. Yeah. Probably the best car, I think, of all that he's raced so far. BMW is a very, very user-friendly car. And 